Hey guys, check it out. This is Dr. J from the Health Institute, and I'm here to launch a new series on IG called Dr. J's Injury Report, talking about injuries, specifically injuries sustained in the NBA. If you guys have been watching ball this year, you've noticed a lot of guys are dropping like flies. And the injuries can be summed up in one simple concept, acceleration and deceleration. See Baron Davis coming through with the one, two Euro step. All the force of his body and the acceleration of his body has to go somewhere. And unfortunately, it's going right through his knee ligaments. The knee completely collapses. There's a huge gaping gap there. The other two videos of Porzingis driving through the lane, throwing down that hammer, exactly the same thing. It's coming down real hard on that one leg. All that acceleration, all that force of the body coming through, those ligaments completely shredding that MCL. Okay. I'm going to talk about what injury happened, how it happened, and more importantly, how we're going to get the athlete back onto the court, which is the rehab aspect of it. Performing a solid warm-up routine prior to competing in sport is vitally important for a high-level athlete. Now, if you take a look at the movements that this athlete is performing, not only are the large muscles being warmed up, but you also see toe engagement. While the athlete is in a lunge, he was instructed to raise the big toe, dig the big toe into the ground. Full flexion of squatting into the knees and just general body movement to get the core temperature up and to get the nervous system awakened. The reason for this is in the event that your body is put in the position where the tissue will fail, it will respond faster via recovery because it will be used to being in that position. So this is what we call passive care right now. And this is ideal post-surgical ACL rehabilitation. As you can see with this young athlete, I'm really focusing on a joint that is just below the knee. It's called the tibular fibular joint and it has one motion and it can externally rotate the foot outward and internally rotate the foot inward. And we gotta make sure that we don't lose that motion. If an ACL, meniscus, or some form of internal knee injury occurs, we gotta make sure that that range of motion is back. And once again, it's simply reminding the joint to continue to get the stimulation that it needs to repair itself. So right now we're doing patellar mobilizations. Uh, right after an ACL rupture, we want to make sure that the patella is mobile. This doesn't get quote unquote stuck on the femur. Now we don't only focus on the area of surgical intervention or we don't only focus on the area that is injured, which is the knee. We also have to keep in mind that there are other joints of the lower body that need stimulation, that need to be activated. And that includes the toes, that includes the ankle, that includes the hip. And as you can see, we're making sure all of these movements are engaged we move them slowly we move them with control so that this will allow the body to maintain some form of communication and make sure that we can get right back on the court slamming dunking and giving dudes bodies if you have sustained an injury to the knee that is not as traumatic reintroducing skill acquisition is super important ballistic jumps with variation in altitude is an effective method to do so at THI, we teach the knee to remember how to jump both low and in high amplitude to gradually prepare it for the impact of landing. Running and changing directions abruptly is another way to prepare the knee for the game. Once the knee is stronger, it will remember how to perform in game-like conditions. Thank you for watching episode 1 of the Injury Report with Dr. J. Stay tuned for episode 2 where we will be talking about a very serious injury often overlooked, concussions. For more information or to inquire about training or rehab sessions, contact us at thehealthinstitute.ca or give us a call at 416-546-5077. This is Dr. J from the Health Institute. See you next time. Peace.